today is my Viva Papa's birthday. I know it's this week, but I feel like it's today. I think it's the 3rd, 4th, or the 7th. Today's the 6th. So it's probably tomorrow. Happy birthday, Viva Papa. I'm wishing you a birthday early or late. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I know it's this week. And God told me that I was going to meet you soon. And when I meet you, it's going to be the happiest day of my life, Papa. Mm -hmm. Yep. When I get to meet you. And I promise I'm not going to ask you anything. I promise. No whys, no buts, no wheres, no hows. No. Because um, I don't really care about the past. I care about the future with you, you know? And I know many things, many people think I want to meet you because you got so much money, you know? I don't want a penny from you. I want some love, though. That's it. A father's love. You know? Maybe this lifetime? I don't know. Do you think that's possible? God said yes. You're going to find me. Or I'm going to find you. But then Jesus says, My future husband, whoever he is, He's going to find you. When I'm the most sick, sickest, he's going to look you up and find you. And I'm going to need you then the most. But I've always needed you the most. You know? I can't wait to see you. And maybe that's why God's going to make me sick. And it's going to be his, it's going to be my testimony. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm going to find you. Yep. You're gonna need your bone marrow. You're gonna give it to me. I love you. I miss you. And I always think about you. You know? I always wish that the doorbell will ring. I'll be there standing there saying I'm home. Even though I've never met you this lifetime, but I know that my mom, who adopted me, told me who my papa was. And she said, you are my papa. And here's the thing. You think I've passed away because evil family members have told you that I've passed away. And actually put it in the Indian newspaper in India that I've passed away. So you think I'm dead. But no, I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm very much alive. I pray for you every single day. Every single day. And I just wish that one day you will come and you'll be knocking on my door. Go and knock, knock. And I'm going to say, Who is it? And you're going to say, It's your Rita, Papa. So happy. I miss you, Papa. And the sad thing is, <laughs> that everybody that call me an orphan, I won't be an orphan anymore because they'll know you're my Papa. This is been waiting for how long? Eight years when I found out before my mom passed away she told me. Eight years she said that's your papa. Please papa if you're watching I swear I swear I don't want you to me. I don't want to die from you. I just want even if it's for a cup of coffee or a cup of chai. That's all. 
then my story could be complete in my mind. You know? And it's sad because my family knows where you're at. They know who you are, but they won't tell you where I'm at. They told you that I'm dead, and you believe that because you don't know. But I feel like if I need, and Jesus said, divine timing. Jesus always says, divine timing. He says, it's not on your timing. My timing, your Reaper Papa's timing, it's going to be on my timing because I'm Jesus, he said. And I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be so happy. My heart's going to smile from here to there. I'm going to jump up in joy. When I finally get to meet you, I've never met you, but I know of you. Because my mom, before she passed away, she told me, that's your papa. So if you're watching, I love you. And I hope you have the best birthday ever. Mm -hmm. I just saw a vision. I saw you in this beautiful white suit. Like an Indian suit. Like an Indian man suit. I don't even know what you call it. You have gold and silver on the suit. And you're knocking on the door. Waiting for me. That's one vision. Another vision I saw is my future spouse, whoever he is, bringing you to my home to surprise me. Love you.